Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Good day everyone. Today on the bench I'm going to tie up a little chronomid. This is one of my uh, glimmer midges. One of my favorite colors is the gray and black and uh, it's a really nice uh, easy fly to tie. Quite sublime. It's got a nice little sparkle in it in the water. Sunshine it really shows up uh, quite well. So we'll uh, you just see that. I hope the camera's picking up on that. And uh, let's go with the materials. I need to tie the fly, but it's a, it's a great little bug. Like say, in the water, it looks really good. We got enough uh, flash underneath not to take over the pattern. It's still nice and sublime. Uh, it imitates a lot of the midges. I'm tying this a little bit different. I'll uh, go over that with you in a second here. So the hook I'm going to be using, it's a size uh, this is a size 12 continuous curve hook. And I've put a 764 uh, silver bead on this. That uh, seems to work quite well. The thread, I'm going to be using some 6 aught black thread. The body, I'm going to be using some gray stretch floss. And the underbody, I'm going to be using some holographic tinsel, size medium in black. And that's a great little, great little color. So we give us some segmentation, a little coloration underneath. It's a very simple fly to tie, and the fish like it. It's a it doesn't take over. It's not too bright. I, I don't like them always too bright. And uh, there's there's so many different color variations that I, that I I do with this, but it's the same method. So I start my uh, thread at the front here. It's going to get a bit of a, a taper going here on the front of my fly. Get that started. Catch in some of the um, stretch floss right behind the bead. Tie that right in behind the bead, get a couple of good turns, and then tie it, put it back in my keeper. Then I will um, bring in some of the holographic tinsel. Tie that along the side, and as I go back, my body's getting really nice and thin at the rear. It's got a nice taper on it. And then I'll just put the underbody in of the black holographic tinsel all the way up, covering the whole shank. Tie it off, get a half inch in there so it doesn't lose it. Then when I bring in my stretch floss, I take one turn at the rear. And then the amount of tension I want. I want a little segmentation. I want to see the um, color underneath, so it picks that up. But the gray is a prominent color, and it's uh, it looks good. It's looks great in the water. Fish like to eat it. So then I'll just put a nice head thread in behind there. There you have it, a gray metallic midge. And that simple. Uh, it's got great coloration. I hope the camera and the light is doing a job here picking that up. I like the segmentation. You put a little head cement on the back there of that, but I do not uh, coat that. You don't need any coating on it. It's got a nice sheen as it is and uh, works great well, very well for us. So thanks again for watching. You can tie these in whatever size you wish. Uh, you can tie them in the, in the scud curved uh, hooks as well. And uh, easy flies, so you can change your colorations up to match your naturals. Thanks again for watching Sports Fishing on Fly. Don't forget to sign up for your memberships to catch some of our TV shows. Lots of uh, fly time videos on there. Lots of other demos and seminars on there too with uh, Brian Chan and uh, Don Freshy, Dale Freshy. You're bringing you a lot of good information there. So. Sign up if you haven't done so. It's a, it's a great resource for you. And happy time. We'll hope to see you again real soon.